no matter the size of your fleet, if you want to make good money, you need direct customers. But how do you do this? We will cover four main tips. As an owner operator or a small fleet owner, you wear many hats from driving truck, accounting, maintenance, business manager, safety director, human resources, and so much more. The hardest skill to learn is being a salesperson. But why is it so hard? Well, many truckers are just not wired to negotiate, swindle, hear no, and bounce back, shake hands, smile, and grind. However, to build your contract freight from shippers directly, this grind is key. So where should you begin? First, you need a professional website. This will help you look professional. This means stop using a Gmail or Yahoo, AOL, or some other email address that's so generic. To do this, build a professional website and push your brand that provides shipper solutions for the types of freight or commodities you like to haul. For example, if you haul regional flatbed loads, your website should use phrases such as, when you need to haul construction materials or equipment to a project site, we get it there safely and on time. Or another option, finding a reliable flatbed carrier is essential to successfully completing your shipments. Things like that make your website look good. At CNS, our marketing team can get you set up with a unique website with custom photos, create your professional email address, help you create an exciting company logo, and present your company professionally online. Second, you need to create a carrier packet to give to shippers. This next step is to help you stand out from the crowd by creating a compelling carrier packet so the customer knows details about your business, your insurance information, what lanes or regions you can legally haul their product in, and what types of equipment you use. The goal is simple. After looking over the packet, all the shipper should need to do is plug in your information into becoming a qualified carrier. That's it. So the information to include are an introduction of your company, commodities you haul, lanes or regions you haul, contact information, your DOT number, your standard carrier alpha code or SCAT code, insurance information, your NAIC policy, reference contact information from other trusted customers or brokers, copy of your certificate of liability insurance stating what your policy has and insured limits, W-9 form with your employer ID, copy of your MC number from the FMCSA, and a copy of your SCAT code renewal. Take this a step further by offering shippers complete visibility on their loads. This could be giving them login information to see where their freight is on your telematic device or other GPS tracking system. And third, find shippers to work with directly. Now that you have a professional website and a complete carrier packet, it is time to introduce yourself to shippers in your local or regional area that you live or would like to haul freight in. This process is simple, but the grind is real. You can start identifying shippers you want to work with by Googling small or big towns and look for manufacturers, industrial complexes, or warehouses that manage the commodities you like to haul. Your goal is to introduce yourself with shippers or logistic managers. And if you are looking for reefer loads, consider looking for shippers in large produce markets. Makes sense. You can apply this strategy to any industry. Go wherever your customers go and meet them. This is a sales call. So you need to hone your skills on getting past the secretary or gatekeeper. This skill just takes time to practice. So don't get frustrated and remember the skills you learned in the Dale Carnegie book we mentioned earlier. Remember, rejection comes with this process. Maybe for every 10 to 15 carrier packets, you may only get one direct customer to start your relationship with. But that's one more. Don't give up and follow up a week later to keep your company in their minds. As you call, email, or visit these carriers, make sure you wear your brand look professional, and meet face-to-face, -face, in person, or with a Zoom call. But wait, there is more. Join industry events and associations. Use your sales skills and join an industry association where you can meet business leaders and shake hands with other competitors. Having connections in the industry to refer to and be referred by can be an excellent source of gaining loads and keeping shipper relationships intact. And lastly, find events shippers will attend. Shippers may not attend mats or GATS trucking shows, but there are many shipping, logistics, construction, 
produce, warehousing, and other industry events that they do attend. And don't forget those carrier packets and don't skimp on the educational talks at these events. By investing the time to understand the details of the industry you haul in, you can gauge future rate fluctuations in different regions of the country. And this effort is time consuming and often difficult, but it is worth the time. With these tools, skills, and effort, you will build new relationships, earn good customer freight, stop relying on load boards or brokers that take a cut from your hard work and keep the cash flow flowing. Well, there you have it. Every way to find loads without having to lease to another company. There are links to all this information in the bio below. Need help starting your own trucking company? Fill out the form also linked below. With that, go get them, don't give up, and as always, stay safe out there.